I don't know why you do that to me. Hi. Do I too? <laughs> Start the camera? Weekly dose time from Tom Sewing. <laughs> I'm Deborah. I'm Lori. The camera. Yeah, I know, but then, then she says, she makes a smart little comment just as she hits the button because she knows it'll get me. Everybody knows it. So, hi, everybody. How's it been? Pretty good, I hope. I uh, hope. I uh, hope so. So, we have new backdrops today. Yes. In case you, uh, you know, like to check out Here. the backdrops. I'll We've just got tip a it a little quilts. bit so you guys can see them. Aren't those Some pretty? stack and wax done by Sandy. Aren't they cool? This one particularly, I really, really like this one. But yeah, Jen's I, got I another like... one to get up. So yeah. come on down. Take check them out. And... We also have new fabric. Yes, we do. Okay. We so do. we're going to show you some new fabric because it's really, really pretty. But just a caveat on it. Um, pictures, and I'm not sure the video is going to yeah. really do it justice because no. it is gorgeous fabric. These, these are absolutely phenomenal. And so let's show them a couple most of, of them. We have the panels. A lot so of them. So there's panels and then there's things like, look at the color. I'm going to be Vanna, okay? So here we go. Is okay. this not stunning? Seriously. Yeah. Like this is lovely. Look at his feathers. Yeah. So if, and then there's like coordinating fabric to go with that one. Did I? Oh, I did. I bought yes, one of those did. ones. So. You can kind of see the coordination here that uh, comes together. The colors, the, um, the flowers. Pretty? See? Yeah, it is right, absolutely okay. lovely. I'm back here. I can't see nothing. And she had a pin in her mouth. We do stress you don't do that, but whatever. What's the worst that's going to happen? I'll swallow it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst that can happen. And then we're looking at surgery, and I don't think you'd be up to doing next week's video, so then there'd be a problem. So now you're sitting there going, swallow it, swallow it. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> then I'd probably be left to do this on my own. And, don't do that. Right, and now, look at okay. this cat. Look at those eyes. <laughs> now, even if you're not a cat person, like those eyes, like um, they Absolutely did an amazing job. Stunning, on those eyes. stunning, Bella. Yeah, for girl, I don't know which because you know, I didn't colors. bring the coordinating fabric with that one, but there's like really cute little paw print well, ones. I it's, don't think we could. I can only all carry the fabric out here that goes. Oh with no, everything. show the other one first. So this is a tree one, and again, I didn't bring. Oh yes, I did. This one I think is the coordinating fabric. Is for it? I don't remember. Don't get. Look at that. Oh. Yes. And I, I, I see on. Is this not lovely? If you go on to, um, this is Utopia by Timeless Treasures. If you type that in there, there is um, some really nice quilts that are done with this panel that I've seen um, in Pinterest. Um, I meant to save it, but I didn't. <laughs> like, it's myself easy afterwards. to find. Yeah, it's it'll be easy so, to find. It'll be, it's, it's amazing. Yes. And so, and then this one. Actually, I don't want to show this one. <laughs> yeah, but you know, For, and I know sure, why you yeah, don't want yeah, to pure, show it, so pure. we have to show it. Have I got it right side up? Yes, I, think I do. So, look at this panel. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty, pretty. Yes, and there's some butterfly. I didn't bring that one either. Oh. So there's there's some butterfly coordinating fabric with it. Um, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then like there's some other ones like there's. This one here, which is the flowers. <laughs> it's a mix of flowers. It's floral. Floral. So there's those ones. And here. And then pansies. My favorite flower. Pansies. Isn't, and there's a lot of different ones to go with this one. It's yes. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And so if you notice that there was kind of a theme yeah. of like a lot of like purples and blues and blacks that came in. And floral. And floral. Well, that. But if... Purples and blues are not. You You're could saying? always go for the, the, the psychedelic frogs. The frogs. You got like it you upside got it. down. Oh, well. There we go. So, okay, now See? it's upside down Ooh. for me. But isn't it yeah. gorgeous? Like, They're what counts. The audience. Sure. Um, but look at that. There's like... You probably don't want to have this if you're tripping. <laughs> 
we don't do that anymore. Oh, sure. Okay. No one does that. <laughs> no. Just throwing that out there. Folks. Not that I ever have, but I'm just imagining it's like, but this thing is so cute. So I have a feeling I might be getting some. You might get some of that. For the grandsons. And make a oh, that would saddle. be adorable. Yes, that would definitely be would adorable. Be so much fun. Uh, and, you know, even if you don't know what you're going to do with it, I cannot be the only person out there who simply collects fabric <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. No, we all do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, so, I, check you it do. out. You'll, you'll find, find fabric yes. that you like. You buy the fabric, and then you find a project that you like. And, of course, none of the fabric that you have works. works. So you have to go buy new yeah. fabric. That's what we do. And so, we all know that dilemma. Yes. Yeah. We are curators yeah. of a unique, unique collection. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not even a stash. It is a collection. It is people. a collection. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right. So. New stuff. Yes. Okay. So um, if you guys have been keeping track, they're the new mini quilts. Mm -hmm. From so, Kimberbell. Kimberbell. Mm -hmm. So the new one, this is June. June. This is Isn't June. it cute? It's so adorable. That's actually. come in. So come on in because these things, these are so much fun to do. So. And then classes. Classes. We've got some classes. Upcoming classes. Now the machine maintenance with Tom is filling fast. So if you think it might be a good idea to just know what, you need to do between regular servicing. Yeah, this does not tech, replace yeah, this, regular yeah. service. Then it's a good idea to get it from somebody who really knows what he's talking about. And it's a good time to ask some questions too yes. about maintenance. Yes, because he loves to answer the questions. Yes. Um, he wants to be informative. He wants to help. So he wants you to know. Yes. So that is great. Yeah, as much as the service department loves working on stuff. Um, the reality is, is I mean, we we spend a lot of money on these machines. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we're taking the best care of them. And that is your regular maintenance. But yep. it's nothing more frustrating than your machine breaking down. Yep. And, I mean, sometimes it's unavoidable. But sometimes it's just simple things that we could do to prevent that yes. and this course will definitely help yeah. you so that you can take and make sure you're doing the best for your machine mm -hmm. um, so that it doesn't break Absolutely. down or yeah. breaks down less or whatever. It doesn't so. give you the problems that it, it could yes. and which leads into also the needle seminar, taking the mystery out of your needles. Um, another invaluable we get a lot of questions, a lot of phone calls about my thread keeps breaking or it's skipping stitches or it's not picking the bobbin thread up. This class, this seminar with Tom will probably answer, I would say, 95% of every problem that you encounter when it comes to your stitches or your thread breaking. It's our needles. We, it it I, is the needle. It is one of... The least expensive things you can do, use the appropriate But it causes needle, a lot of change. issues. Yes, and we don't, exactly. Like breaking thread doesn't, it, we don't think that it's a needle issue. It generally is. Skipping so. stitches, we yes. don't think it's a needle. We think it's a machine as a whole. But it is, a needle is kind of like your back. You don't realize yes. the problems mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. how much you use it or everything that it leads to until you can't use your back. Yes, yeah. And it, the needle is the same thing. There's so many things that could, is a problem that we attribute to a machine when but it is actually the needle. Actually the, very so, likely the needle. So understanding needles not and when to use it, what's going on with them, really does help you with troubleshooting some of the yeah. other problems that mm -hmm. you have with your machine. Yeah. So both, both are great. And if you've taken them in the past... It doesn't hurt to take them again because our brain can only absorb yes. so much information. Yeah. And it'll absorb things that we've kind of had issues with. Yes. Yeah. And so we've solved those. So now we're having new issues. So now you're going to pick up other things. Yes, exactly. So, so yeah. and you probably, the more, the longer you sew, the more you uh, stretch the type of fabric you use, the, the uh, threads you're using, the patterns you're working on, you expand your skills. Therefore, you go, you need to be expanding on the needles that you use. 
So, yeah, it's just a big help. Uh, absolutely, I've taken it twice now. And if I was still here when this one was coming up, I'd take it a third time. I'm not. But um, it'll come up again. Yeah, we, so, we run them quite yeah. a bit. So definitely. So the um, they're both in June. One's mm -hmm. towards the beginning of June. One's the needle one is more towards the end. But definitely sign up. Yes. Um, Next yeah. is Surgery Level 1 next week at Country Folk. Uh, there's still a space, maybe two, I think. Two might be pushing it, but if, if you're... If you go to, um, if you work out of the Country Folk Store and you want to get in, get some information on your serger, now it's time. Because yep. they do fill up fast and we can, generally speaking, only get the teacher who uh, gives these classes to during off times because she is a teacher in her other life. So. All right. Um, what else? The Patriotic Pillow. Yes, we have that coming up. Oh, I didn't bring it. It's thrown here somewhere. It uh, the intriguing thing for me on the because it's not exactly a me thing, but because she's going to show us how to do um, put the maple leaf in one of the blocks. Yeah, and I really it, really want it's, this. So. It's from a U.S. company, yeah. and so they designed it for U.S. Yeah. and we're like, we're not, oh, we're not U.S. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> so we we took out. So we do have one energetic person in the store today. <laughs> And Jen has brought it. So, so like, we, I'm really looking so, forward yeah, so to learning Yeah, so we're going to take that out. Yes. And then also we're changing the words because the words was home of the brave or yes, something like that. Yes, and, and so we've got it ours where is we're going to. native land. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll pull it out. Um, and even the cake is cool. Yes. So we'll, we'll just make it. And so we do have needed. a birthday coming up. So that we can celebrate. And. Whose birthday? Oh, yours. I was going to say, my... was going to say Canada Day. Oh, I yeah. Never mind. Day. And this one, I bought my design this morning um, for the coffee, coffee corner. Now, there is no applique. This is all thread. This is all thread. So that so... suits me down to a T. <laughs> I love just thread. So it just works for me. It, yeah, it's. I love the way they do the shading. On yeah, these. it's really. Now that I've seen it, like I mean, I was going to do it anyway because, like, well, I just you know I like coffee, but when now that I've seen it, yeah. it, it the shading the thre it is fabulous. And it you really, can do really is. this is the medium size one, I think. Yes, yes. There's, a there's a smaller, a smaller and a larger one and size, so. at least one larger, if not two larger. So this will be fun. Four. We have both in person and Zoom. So if you're quite comfortable with your um, embroidery, the Zoom is great. Yeah. And uh, if you're still new and you're st you still need uh, some hands-on help, take the in person. One. Yeah, in person, or if you just want to come and spend time with me, because just you know. like it's so pretty. <laughs> that center panel where yeah. it says "Welcome to the Coffee Corner." Yeah. There's two panels. You can either do that one, which is plain. There's also another one that has, um, and that's the one you'll see in the sample, or like if you, you'll see the samples for when you purchase the uh, design, the design that has like the floral and all that kind of stuff behind it. I wanted to do it this way so you could see which way you would prefer. Then you can see both. Cool. Um, and then you've probably seen the sneak peeks and just rolling over here for a minute. Oh, yes. So it's the Designs by Juju. It's still working on it. Because, um, you know, when you have, like, stash up the yin-yang, and then on a Saturday night, when you go to rely on your stash and realize that... You don't have what you want? No. I have. I know I have black leather through in my house. Oh. I could not find it. I found two small pieces that weren't quite big That's... enough, but I made it work. <laughs> And now I'm frustrated with this. I got to redo it. Yes. But you get the idea. And then it's got a border on this. And so it's so cute. So it's very Canadian. I love, <laughs> like, we've got, like, the, the leather balloon. Yes, so yes. There's the rubbery. And and... Up here. Yeah. It's very cool. Very, so, very cool. Yeah. If you see it, it's, yeah. And so. here she did redo it with the satin stitch on the wheels. Wow. You can't tell. The, but, the leather um, actually fit. The, the, yeah. 
it was big enough because <laughs> I, I yes she did get it monday i was back at the store there you go carrie wouldn't open for me at like 8 30 really? on saturday night so i could get it huh wow yeah. I think, she was a, yeah, she, think she was a friend, but apparently she didn't want to come all the way back in. Oh, well, you could have called me. I could have said no, too. <laughs> yeah, just line everyone up to say no for me. Thank you. And we have a product demo today. Our yes. Jen is in, and she is going to give us a demo. She's been playing instead she of She has, <laughs> yes. She was playing last night when I was leaving. And uh, she has got some uh, really interesting things to All right. Show. I'm going to so, flip this around and walk. Ahead. Wait, you don't want us to walk behind, behind you? No, I'll and, let you go first. And watch you walk? <clears throat> you could do the Vanna walk. <laughs> That's kind of an exaggeration of what Vanna does, but okay. What's the fun part of it? You're supposed to be slaughtering. <laughs> Right. Clean it up. <laughs> Clean it up. <laughs> Seriously. Hi. Hello. Okay. So we're going to be looking at the Husqvarna Epic 95Q today. And there's a few really neat things that I was playing with yesterday. Um, one of the neat things that I found out about um, the higher end Husqvarnas are they have this program on them called the Joy OS Advisor. So if you are working with materials that you're not usually used to, you can go into the advisor and then pick which fabric you're working on and what stitches you're doing, and then it will set all your tensions for you. And so for me, who usually only works with like cotton, if I were to have to go to satin or something like that to do a uh, grad dress, which thank God is not happening. Um, <laughs> not this year. Not this year. Um, then, of course, I could do that. or And then you would choose, okay, I'm doing seaming. Come on. And then it'll tell you to put on the right foot. And there it tells you which foot what you're using woven, what needle size you should be using, and that you should have the, your little walking foot engaged in this case. Oh. So, yeah, and so it does have little step-by-steps. So you don't have to have a um, your manual out because your manual is already built into the machine. So, for instance, if you're doing stuff that's new all on this one, that's wonderful. So we can go back to the home. I press it right the first time. It's and then blonde proof. It's blonde proof? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. And if you are just used to getting up and going because you know what you're doing, there's a there's a little start new button. And then it's just saying, you know, make sure you have the right foot on. And there's no project loaded, so you don't need the you don't need to it doesn't have your advisor open, which is also fine. But in this case we're gonna go and we're gonna do some fun things here. We are going to do, not the basic question. techniques. Oh, question. Is this specific to this machine or to all of the higher end Husqvarna? I believe things? it okay. is specific to this machine. And then what happens that um, another, among the other brands is that it's, why it will download any updates automatically and then only have a pop-up for when it's time to install it. So you don't have to sit and do with some of the other high-end machines when they do have updates that come out. You have to sit there and wait for it to download and then install mm -hmm. it. But this one will download it in the background while you're working on your machine. So, wow. And then when it's ready to install, there will be a pop-up that comes up oh, that says, hey, we have new things to install. And then you can do that. So very you, nice. So okay. that you can, when you're ready to finish doing your work for the day, you can do the install or do it before if that is your... Uh, if Ooh, that's super the Thank way you. you roll okay so i am going to go over here as you can see there's all sorts of things like ruffles and gathering pleats darts waistlines zippers but we're going to go to the fun laser pictogram stitches so we are going to be doing there's two ways of doing these okay it's telling me and then i'm going to pick a stitch we will do whatever we'll just do this one all right, I am not using the correct presser foot, so.
So I will change the presser foot here, which is just a snap out, and put in the nice wide S foot. And then we'll put it back here. Now I know that this isn't a fun thread color, so we will re-thread quickly with the automatic threader here as soon as I can get up. Down and around. Yes, I go fast, but that's so that you guys don't have to wait. And so we will follow the directions that are at the bottom of the screen. We picked our pictogram and then we'll go to the next one. Okay, change your foot. Yes, we've done that. And now we have to turn on the laser. I've already done in just the, in our heat erase pen, I've drawn a line, but now I can line it up with this laser. Press my foot down button. And it will only do one stitch at a time, so it's going to go. And then we'll just keep going and we'll do a couple, but it will stop after every stitch. I'm gonna snip it and then we're gonna go and we're gonna do the other side. So you still have your same stitch, but you mirror image it as it tells you to do in this one. So there we go. And then we are going to line it back up very quick. Okay, there we go. And so, now that it's this way, and this also shows you that we do have a lateral feed on this system. So not only do you sew forwards and backwards, you can sew side to side on this one. Like, the uh, Lyric, I believe, is also, and the, and there's a few other machines that we have in the store that can do that as well, but I can't remember them all off the top of my head. It's okay. Okay, and so you have a back-to-back. -back. And now if we, what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll go back to the pictograms and we'll do another little fun thing. We'll do the laser pictogram motifs in pairs. And we have the same foot on and I have, there we go. Mm -hmm. So we will start again and we will do, and this time we're not going to do more than one because we are going to do a cute little pattern. And then what I will do is I will choose the upside down one. Okay. Good. We'll go back to the original. And then flip it over, a mirror image. And then I'm just going to make sure that it matches up here because I don't want it not to because otherwise we'll have some lopsided uh, pictures here. Oh, we may have some lopsided pictures here anyway, but you know, who who is perfect? Well, right now with, you know, you're not working under optimal Oh conditions. yeah, no, I, I'm totally We're, under pressure here, so you know, well, here that, we go. And you're kind of in a hurry. I'm so. kind of in a hurry, I want to make it, but I want it to be pretty at the same time. And so... So you can have them match, and as you can see from my playing last night, you can do two different colors 
Or then I just drew another line the other way, flipped it, and did the same thing a second time. So it kind of looks like a four-leaf clover or just hearts if you'd like. And there's all sorts of built-in designs, but you can also download designs and put them in on a USB key. Now, one more fun little thing, and we're gonna use the other side of this to do it, is that you can actually do applique stitches, and you don't need an embroidery machine to do it. So it's in the dimensional stitches here. They have something called the applique stitches. So we'll do that. Okay, and we're gonna just choose the heart because I'm all about hearts today, apparently. And because I've already cut the fabric to be the right size for the hearts. So. Just a side note though, yeah. um, it's because you don't need an uh, embroidery machine to do it. it it's, you're doing this with pre-done in the machine. It's pre-done so, yeah. in the machine. So it's yes. not like you can bring in outside embroidery. I believe you, not embroidery no. in the way that you would do embroidery in the hoop. Yeah. And yes, you still do need stabilizer underneath. And it does tell you that in your instructions. Okay. Um, but so it's kind of it's, it's between kind of a regular sewing machine, machine and, an and an embroidery, embroidery machine. machine. And so. it's just some fun stitches. Like, yep. And then, so in this case, we're doing the hearts because it looks like you have sewn them on the way that it goes. And it will sew all the way down and then it will stop. And that is when it tells me to put my material in. So you load the stitch. You sew till it stops, and then when the machine stops with the needle down and the presser foot and the pivot, you insert a small piece of applique fabric behind the needle. So it's gonna go back. I had to look it up because one of the ones I did, I had to do it when I was playing yesterday. You had to rotate it. This one you don't rotate. And so now it's gonna go back. And it's gonna sew my heart. And now when it stops again, I can put another one in. And we're using green because we've shown you so much blue today that we needed to use green to uh, help out Deb there with her no blue sensibilities. <laughs> Crazy lady. Ooh. Oh, and of now I'm getting that my, uh, my bobbin is low. But we're gonna ignore that just for a minute, just to finish this one. And we're gonna play some. It won't let you. And it will not let me. Oh, I was gonna do some bobbin chicken. But this brings me to another really interesting thing that you can do. The way that you wind a bobbin on this machine and a number of the other Husqvarna's is you can take it right from the needle thread and put it up in because you roll, you do your bobbin. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Down on the side here. So if we wanted to do our bobbin, and of course. So you're not unthreading the I'm machine. I'm not unthreading the machine. I don't have to re-thread a whole new thing. Um, I am not used to these ones, but that's okay. There. Aha, there we go. And then there's the little cutter there. And Oh, it goes the other way. Oh, it goes the other way. Okay, well, there that's my bad. That's okay. We're still all getting used. No, the, yeah. Yeah, we're all getting used. No, you to went the, that way. It's the other way. Oh, it's the other way. Okay, this way. There we go. Okay. We have so many machines in here, and every machine does a different direction, and so. We do fix it here, but in ten to twelve weeks, but all of those machines are ahead of you. Hmm. What's going on here? There we go. There we go. Am I supposed to take it out of the needle or not? See, I'm still learning this one. Oop. Okay. See, that's my bad because I have not practiced this part. That's okay. But that's okay. So I'll just... It gives us an idea. So it's just, it's a different way of, of thing. <gasps> Watch Jen fail! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I said. Okay, how many machines do we have in the store at any given point that we've always had? Right? 
So oh my we God, have yeah, this so one's new. So yeah, I'm this not, one's I'm new. Not even. So and every machine. And I'm not yes. even sure I was supposed to unthread the needle. So. Or maybe. Yeah. Oh, so maybe. it's just a. It's a little of this, a little of that. Okay, we're we're good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> gonna just pause that for now because I'm. Yeah. Well, we're all we're kind of at our time, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay you know what at some point we'll probably put together a reel of bloopers because we've all done them oh yeah um but it just goes to show you that you know all the machines you know are different mm -hmm. and you know what one bobbin you know on one machine it goes this way like i have my genomies at home mm -hmm. and both of them you wind the bobbin the different direction so one goes one direction one goes the other direction oh my gosh and so what gets me is that there's no holes on the top or bottom of these bobbins the way there are on the Janome bobbins that yeah I'm used to so I was looking for the hole at first too so that I could just put it through pull it and hold it because that's yeah. my go-to so every machine is different and you, <laughs> you you have fun getting used to all the different machines and yep. you know we have to I mean what recognize and you know oh, well I so. could have just put in the new bobbin that I have right here that there's already a pre-threaded one too, that we could have done, <laughs> used to finish it. But I'm like, oh, I'll show the bobbin winding because I'm SMRT today. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is you did. It's, it winds different. It winds different. And so that is pretty cool. I or like the way that. you can wind it from its own bobbin, it, from its own spool as well. But if you want to use your top thread as your bottom thread, it did have it. And I thought that that was pretty cool that I didn't have to unthread it. But apparently, I um, I need more practice. Yes, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> but this is the first. I mean, how many times have I wound my bobbin and sat there? And I've had my machine for a bit, and I still mm -hmm. screw it up. I think we and all so, do. But just to finish it off, you would trim it. You would trim it down with a pair of embroidery scissors. Um, I left those in the office, but I did do one last night. And so there we go. And then it goes down to the next place where it's going to put the embroidery before you put it in. So you can get a nice little line going of embroidered stitches. And so and, and come on down. Yeah. Come play. Come play. Us. Come look. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll have this, you know. And if this is too small for you, because I understand some people can't do that, you can make it full screen. You can make it full screen. You can make the, you know, some of us can't <laughs> read it. Like, I know I'm, I have to get new glasses again. So you may look at See, me that's and why go, we, oh my gosh, you're so young. But I go home and I feel so old. <laughs> that's why we, we like reading on the, on our phones. Yes, because you can change it. And yep. you can do that here. Because then you can make the, the font really big mm -hmm. and nobody notices that you were making the font mm -hmm. really big. You don't have to get those big, huge books because... Yeah. Yep. Okay. My mother is legally blind, and she she reads one sentence a page on her tablet. There you but go. You know, that's, it, it works. That's, but she's still reading. So there, there we go. go. All right. Thanks, Jen, for showing that to us. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to wander back to the corner, and I may have gotten ditched. Uh, yeah. And then that, because uh, we had customers in the store, so it kind of got... Deborah going so oh she is coming I thought she ditched me oh good all right beyond my understanding uh, problem service yes so you had you, you have back. was it fun it was I'm sorry I missed that it was <laughs> it, it, you should play on it because the bobbin winds different so you know how with most machines you have to like if you have to wind your bobbin yeah. so then you have to unthread it and all so if you're mid project you can just take your thread and it winds over to the bobbin on the side and then it'll wind it and so then you don't oh. have to and then because you unthread really? thread it for the bobbin oh, and then rethread it wow. back it's just i think we missed one we have to look at the instruction we missed something because it what it was was pulling it yeah. a little bit too tight but i mean we just got most of these in the it's store in the amazing. last last little bit yes, and so exactly. we're still and like i said to jen i mean how many machines do we have in the store to get the point yeah you can't uh, we have to everything. learn yes, and exactly. memorize and and everything else like that so you know 
Yes, we did. So, um, I am sorry I missed, <laughs> but That's I will okay. check out what she did. And um, I think... I think that's it. I think today. that's it. And um, we'll be back at it next week. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We're always here. Check All out right. the fabric. So, yeah, come check out the fabric. And no one's allowed to buy the butterflies. Well, I don't know if I want to end on that note. You can buy the butterflies. <laughs> no, because I want the butterflies. Actually, no, it is gorgeous fabric. And um, yeah, it's, it it's kind it of really funny. Is. The The panel came in and the panel's pretty much gone yes yeah other than that because uh, it is gorgeous like once you see yeah. it they said pictures do not do it justice no it doesn't it, you these are things that need to be seen all of them and it is fabulous yeah. so come on in check it out sign up for classes we're here yes okay all right have bye. a great week bye now. bye